The movie Remember the Titans is about the integration of the T.C. Williams High School in the year 1971. The film centers around the development of a high school football team in times of high racial tensions. The school board of T.C. Williams High School picks an Afro-American head coach to lead the football team. Coach Boone, played by Denzel Washington, gets the head coach job over Coach Yost, played by Will Patton. Coach Yost is a Caucasian future high school Hall of Famer. Together, these two much learn how to overcome challenges created by different leadership styles and deal with different forms of racism. Throughout the movie, Remember the Titans, um, examples of leadership and team development will emerge. As coaches and players grow, the Titans provide an excellent example of how to overcome obstacles and build a championship high school football team. Since uh, Coach Boone was the head coach, what do you feel like his strengths and weaknesses were as a leader? I'll take this first. Um, I think most importantly in terms of the strength, I would say is patience. Because you think from the beginning, I mean, he's a black man down south. He's constantly being degraded, disrespected. But no matter what he heard or what he was told, he kept just like a, a confident and composed manner. And I feel like that helped in, in kickstarting, bringing everybody together. And it really just speaks volumes about his character in, in terms of being a coach and really being able to lead a team. <clears throat> yes, I'll, I'll add to that. Uh, coach Boone, he, he uh, was, a very, was a great leader and he was good at, at bringing the team together when the in creating his own culture when the outside was very divisive and he had a, a high level of uh, cultural uh, intelligence and emotional intelligence to be able to withstand uh, what it is that that was going on and with that too uh, his coaching style as well as just his leadership style he was definitely more direct towards uh, his other coaches and his teammates. He told everyone how it was. And I think that benefited the team overall with getting everyone tougher and getting his points across. Unlike um, coach Yost, who was more of the good cop side of the coaches. Yeah, and kind of took off what Wes was saying, even when coach Boone was being a little bit too harsh and he saw that like that could be kind of seen as a weakness, how hard he went on the players during the trainings he kind of softened up on them at the end and he learned from coach Yost to become a little bit more understanding and empathetic towards the players and not require so much perfection. Yeah, I was, I would even say in terms of we've, we've kind of discussed his strengths. Yes. Uh, or so like to his, his weaknesses, I would say that probably was like his one most outstanding weakness was he was just so driven and, motivated to prove himself that at times it just seemed that there was no like getting through to him or, or compromising with him and I think that's where uh, coach Yost as the film went on they kind of helped each other in terms of like especially at the end I remember the scene where he said to him they needed his help on the defense I think that just shows that that showed him that it's okay to like need help or take advice from others like it doesn't always have to be your way <clears throat> yes uh coach Coach Boone, he was tough. He was very tough, but he but he was fair. He was fair to, you know, all the players. And he showed that, you know, no matter who you are, uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be tough, but I'm going to be fair uh, in regards to your performance and and your play on the field. And and he showed that in practice in the games. And that that's what a leader has to be. He has to be tough, but but they also have to be fair and uh, understanding and show empathy. And he needed to show a lot of empathy and understanding in, in this, uh, in the movie and in the, in the situation that he was in. As we were talking about Coach Boone, uh, Coach Yost came up uh, numerous times. Uh, what do you feel his strengths and weaknesses were as a leader? 
Yes, uh, Coach Yost, uh, Yost was an exceptional football coach, and he was able to lead players. However, he was un unable to make the adjust adjustment to integration at first, and he was having some troubles with uh, the outside influence. And the outside influence and him not able to make the adjustments, I believe, would have affected the team if it weren't for Coach Boone. Uh, he later changed, uh, but, you know, that, that's a weakness. And uh, he does have strengths. Uh, again, he is a good coach, and he did show le leadership qualities. Although Coach Boone did, uh, I believe, change him and have an effect on how he was able to, you know, handle the, kid, uh, the kids, the team, and the, you know, the integration of the teams. I do agree. I, I did see him develop more firmness as the movie um, um, went along. I also seen him get a, a better, a clearer picture of right and wrong, um, things that were unethical. And as, he, as these became more aware to him, he, he dramatically changed um, as, as the movie went along. But I really liked how he was the probably maybe the most ethical, um, the most visual as the most visual part of being ethical as a leader um, as he grew. Yeah, I feel that his willingness, if anything, was one of his strengths and, and kind of helped him because it could have been really easy for him to kind of give up, especially, I mean, Boone took his job and he was destined to be a future Hall of Famer, but despite that, he still stuck with it and stuck with the team and kind of changed his viewpoints and allowed himself to adapt and learn. It is evident that uh, Coach Boone and Coach Yost had their impact on the team, but players had to buy in. And this is the case between the two captains uh, Captain Jerry and Captain Julius. Can you give some examples of how their interactions made a difference in the development of the team? I think it's important to note for the two captains that the coaches were not around the team the whole entire time. So the initiative the two captains had to take when the coaches weren't around, such as in the cafeteria or in the locker room, really showed those values. Yeah, I just wanted to I agree with this because um, Coach Boone let Gary make his own decision on whether or not they should get rid of the player who he believed was not blocking players um, due to racial tensions. And I thought that was really powerful that he was giving the captain the complete power to determine whether or not the player should stay on the team. I, I even feel that the scene from this specific picture is extremely powerful in that too, because I mean, no one was around, it was just the two of them. Gary could have easily said anything he wanted to Julius, anything racist, discriminating, because at this point, Julius was still pretty stubborn, but instead he chose the what I felt broke the ice with the whole team, and he just kind of relayed to him all his talent and how much he was really capable of, and I think that really kick-started both of them opening up, which kind of just the team fed into it, and it funneled through. Yes, uh, Bertier and Julius... Uh, they, they were extraordinary leaders, but they were also diehard followers. And their, their they had a, a major influence on the players, uh, Bertier for his team and Julius for his team. And once they started buying in and the teammates who were following them, you know, their, their leaders uh, on, on the team, it seems like the team started to started to work together and joke around. And it seems, it seems like they started to play better also. Uh, throughout the movie, there were many examples of how we can apply certain um, events that happened in the movie to our schoolwork and in our career. Um, what are some examples? Uh, an example in your uh, in your career or in a corporation could be as a leader, uh, you, you always have to show empathy and you have to be ethical. And 
this, uh, in a corporation, uh, you may be forced with uh, a pressure, you know, outside influences to pressure you, pressure you to be unethical. So you have to be a, 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 an, an ethical leader. And this movie showed that, you know, there, that outside influences can change someone's uh, behavior and it can affect the culture. Yeah, I think kind of just to go off of that, especially thinking in terms of the corporate world in real life, um, especially today, it's all about teamwork. And this movie kind of showed how, how important it is to have an open mind and to be accepting and have that willingness so that you can work with your coworkers and your peers, because without that, it's impossible. It'll never, it'll never function. You wanna After viewing the film, what are some key takeaways? Um, one thing that I noticed, and it's a quite common theme in the world, is pretty much just not to judge a book by its cover. I mean, you owe everybody a chance. You can't base what you feel and your willingness to work with them off of what they look like in terms of color, their beliefs in terms of religion. You owe somebody that chance to really show that you're open to working with them and just see how it goes. Working off of what Kobe said, I think at the end of the film, they portrayed empathy very well. Um, when Gary was in the car accident, how the team all came together to support Gary when he was in the hospital. One of the biggest takeaways I noticed was the powerfulness of a strong leader on the individual. I thought it was really awesome that Coach Boone was able to help his players raise their grades and help them get into college. And even Coach Yost was able to say that the players should stay on the team to help their scholarships so that they don't ruin their future. Um, in conclusion, um, I believe that we as a society got to find a way to bridge gaps as the Titans did. Um, we need to learn how to handle racial issues and much more, but it's kind of the empathy of and the willingness to work together and want to work together that in the end makes a difference.